All right, guys, today we are going to another Spirit Halloween right here in Mansfield, Ohio at Richland Mall. And joining me today to check everything out in this store will be this little guy right here with his one eye. All right, guys, let's go ahead in here and see what they have in store in Mansfield, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween. I think I do this every year, but first I want to come into the actual mall itself and take a quick look and then see how the entrance is from inside the mall and that looks pretty dang cool up there i actually love that sign even though it's pretty small because it is 3d if you look closely you can see that it's 3d i bet that would look awesome under a black light all right back outside because i believe this is what they treat as the front door so we're probably going to see some awesomeness as we enter here and we do right inside the doors we have ghost face and cotton candy dan i love how every store i go into with this setup they have somebody different over here now first of all before we even get to the animatronics people have been asking because i skipped out on it in the past couple of videos people have been asking to see the t-shirts for this year so let's go ahead and take a look at these first hello jumping spiders oh my gosh they have some awesome shirts this year guys look at this the first one that i pointed out the other day and i love so many up here right now we're going to take a look at all of them but i was seeing this billy loomis t-shirt right here check this out we all go a little mad sometimes that's a line from psycho by the way that he stole but look at this we have so many awesome new t-shirts this year look at this this is hilarious jason voorhees most likely to kill it <laughs> we got pennywise with the hashtag hungry that's hilarious i wish it was friday that one's an older one terrifier we have beetlejuice 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 as you know the new beetlejuice movie comes out in like i don't know two three weeks here we got chucky and tiffany up here follow your dreams freddy krueger there this one's been out for a little while the dreamer freddy krueger Kruger. We got the stab your it on the top. We got this guy doing that. We got Billy Loomis. And down here we have Creep Show. Check this out. That's pretty cool. American Psycho. Evil never looked so dang good. Michael Myers. Get in, loser. We're going slashing. That's an older one. This one here is an older one. I don't think I've seen this one before, though, with Leatherface. That is pretty cool. And check this out. We have three bloody, four bloody disgusting t-shirts this year. We have Art the Clown on the top there. Then we have Jason Voorhees. We have the Scream TV right there. And then we have Michael Myers on this one. And I love these designs, how they all have the older TVs. Like the top three are the CRT TVs. Well, I guess this one is too. But Michael Myers is from 1978, so that's why he has the older one. And I love how these two TVs each have a place for a VHS tape. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's Art the Clown. Drop on by the clown cafe look at this they're playing ring around the rosy okay this one is totally awesome let's make a slasher movie it's ghost face with a video camera ghost face home video that is very cool then we got art the clown in the spirit logo above that this is an older one up here with michael myers a sitter's guide these two are older ones here creeping it real and drink up witches then we got the three skeletons over here they look like cowboys We'll trade candy for beer, hollow wasted, portal to the cat dimension, and other nightmares. That's an older one, too. Witchcraft's up on the top, and then I can't hold my liquor on the very top corner. And among these, it looks like we have some that are not pictured above here. E is for existential dread. <laughs> That's, a, oh my gosh, look at the look on his face. It's like he's dreaming of all this stuff. Aliens, eyeballs, a clock, okay. A fly, we got a centipede or a millipede or whatever that thing is. A heart, dollar sign, okay. We got a skull, we got a bat, and then the boy who dreams of it all. Here's a ghost face, let's, let's watch scary movies. We got the trick or treat, always check your candy. We got the demon cat here, and then here's a Beetlejuice one right here. Oh, did we see this one? 
Um, I thought this one was up here. Oh yeah, it's way down here on the end. Say it three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay, so there are your t-shirts, the new ones for this year, as well as a few other ones that are mixed in there. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at the Carnival, how they have it set up here in Mansfield, Ohio. Every one of these stores is set up a little bit different because they're shaped and sized differently. Let's start with Cotton Candy Dan over here. Hello, Mr. Tickle Me Elmo. Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Ghostface over here. Hello, Mr. Scream. You teach a class about slashers, and you still walk into a dark alley. Hello. All right, let's do that again, see what else he says. We've added some new no, ingredients. All right, let's walk on through the Carnival here. Hello, Mr. Carnival sign. Looks like behind the scenes already we have a Cotton Candy Dan here. I still can't get over just how gigantic that box is. All right, let's move over this way for a second because I did see another animatronic over here. Oh, look, it's the Cauldroness. This is, I think, the second store that I've seen the Cauldroness in. I would love to see her in action with that fog coming out and everything, but the last store we were in, I think it was Zanesville, had her set up and did not have her working. All right, let's make our way around here. Let's go this way and see what we can find. I'm still on the hunt for the bedazzled mugs. This is not one of them. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. I see they do have some animatronics on the floor here for sale. We got a Mac straw right here. Somebody made a comment the other day and they spelled it M-A-X. T-R-A-W. That was pretty cool. Max Straw. Below him, we have a ghost face animatronic right there, available right now in Mansfield. On the other side here, check this out. We have a Gordo on the top, and we have Bobby Strings on the bottom. It's funny because, like, Gordo's box seems like it's pretty big if you're just messing with it, but when you put it on top of a Bobby Strings box, it just gets buried because it's so small. Whoa, look over here, guys. They got a whole bunch of animatronics, beginning with Towering Tallulah. I just might end up buying her by the end of the season. I still don't have any room in the Hummer right now because it's still full of all my Christmas stuff, but she is totally awesome and totally huge and totally green. Right behind her, we have a Max Straw and an Emmeline. It's cool to see Emmeline in the store here. We got a Dagger Mike. We got a Night Terror here on top. You can almost always expect to find Man's Possessed Friend in the stores. In fact, they have two of them here. We got a Sitting Scarecrow. We got a whole plethora of things over here. Look at this, we have another Night Terror right here. I'm still up in the air of whether I wanna buy him or not, but I might end up getting him. I think that other Nate guy is gonna get him, actually. We got the Scary Sitting Scarecrow. We got a Demonic Gatekeeper down here. There's the ghost face that is not the animatronic, but he lights up. We got a Barnaby the Bear on the bottom there. Look at this, guys, holy crap. Look at who we have in stock in the store. The Keeper. Have I seen The Keeper in any other stores? I don't think I've seen him in any other stores yet this season. I know that that other Nate guy has, but I haven't. This is a first for me. And I was actually at a Goodwill yesterday where I saw a chair that would fit him perfectly. It would be totally awesome, but it was already sold. How much is he? I think he's like 400 bucks, isn't he? Yes. $399.99. Yikers. That's quite the price tag for that guy, but he is awesome. We got a gravestone gruel underneath. <laughs> Another gravestone ghoul down here sitting. Scarecrow, we got a dagger mic. Oh, look at this. We got a giant death ray and a Wanda Webworth over here. We got a sitting scarecrow on top. It's the scary sitting scarecrow. All right, guys. They got a lot of cool things in here. Moving around the other side here. Okay, let's just take a look at this ghost face here. They got two 
more right here. And this is the one that I said is not the animatronic. You probably know all about it already, but let's just look at it here for a second. The knife and the face both light up and he makes slashing and screaming noises. He's six feet tall. That is actually a pretty cool prop. And I believe, yeah, he's $129.99. So the price is right on this guy if you wanted a ghost face prop, but you couldn't afford or didn't want to spend the money on the animatronic. Believe me, I can't afford half the stuff I buy from these stores, so I know what I'm talking about. And then below them, we have another demonic gatekeeper. Very cool. Look at this, guys. Here's all their inflatables here, and they have the elusive Jack the Reaper archway, 12 feet tall. Now, I've seen another archway that looks very much like this floating around for $99.99 at some other store. I don't even know what it is, but it has the hands that come out like this. It has the arch, but the thing that it doesn't have is Jack's face, the hood, and like the, his gown hanging down. It's just the black part, and I think there's like a skeleton face. This guy is totally awesome, and this is the real deal. $129.99. I will end up buying him before the season is over. But we gotta look up here for a second, because in one of my recent videos, I think it may have been St. Clairsville, I saw this guy on the end here, the dual masked inflatable. And I kind of teased you guys about him. I told you what he was called, but I didn't show him to you yet because we had so many animatronics to look at in that store. He's on the top shelf here. Let me just look around here for a minute and see if there are any on lower shelves. All right, we gotta go around the back here. And yes, here he is, whoa, look at this. It really is a dual masked inflatable. So let me get a hold of it here. All right, we got a little better light here. We can see that it's like a witch face over here. And then somehow you change out the face to a pumpkin. I think that those must just be two separate masks and you take one off, put the other one on. In fact, yes, I'm staring straight at it where it says includes two interchangeable masks. I think that is such a cool idea and I especially love that pumpkin mask. Yeah, so that guy is six feet tall. I do, oh, here we go, $39.99. I was looking all over this thing and I couldn't find the prices right there in my face. $39.99 for the dual masked inflatable. All right, I also see that they have a couple of the hearse inflatables here. It's kind of dark over here, so I think this is kind of blurry, but we have another one of the Jack Reapers. We got a jack-o'-lantern archway. We have the spinning eyes clown here. We got a jack-o'-lantern secret keeping cat. We got a ghost peeking out from the back there. We got the scarecrow, the reaper, the wolf, the coffin, another ghost, and a gargoyle up there. Let's come back over to this side one more time. Just see if there's any of them that we missed. I think, oh, we got, no, we saw the reaper. Um, the coffin. Yeah, I think we've covered them all. Here's one of these mugs that's pretty cool. It's not the bedazzled one, but it is Mars Attacks. That is pretty dang awesome. $29.99. Man, that other Nate guy would absolutely love that. Tumblr is the appropriate name, I guess. When I come into the stores, I ask if they have any mugs, and they look at me like, are you a crazy boy? But now I know that I need to start calling them tumblers. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back through here, see if there's any other animatronics we might be missing. I am not sure. We do have some life-size posable skeletons. I've really considered getting a whole bunch of these and doing the whole skeleton setup in my front yard where they're like climbing the house and mowing the lawn and stuff like that. But I'm always just afraid that people would come by and start stealing up all my skeletons. Whoa, check this out. I don't think I've seen these before. These are movie clapboards. Look at this. We got the Nightmare on Elm Street. That is cool. And we got John Carpenter's Halloween. That one is totally awesome too. I think if I had to buy one, it would be this one right here. I move like a real movie clacker. All right, let's see if we can make it clack here. It's got a little thing on the back you have to open up. Here we go. Ready? Take two. Freddy kills Tina. Oh, here's a sweet Mars Attacks picture, too. I don't think I've seen this one before. Slow alien invasion area. I love how it's, like, melting. That is totally cool. All right, let's make our way over here and see what they got. Look at these collapsible barrels. We got one with a ghost face on it. How big is that? 24 inches by 14 inches. Apparently, it's just the right size to put a whole bunch of Butterfingers in there. This one has a pumpkin face on it. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, that's a five-foot inflatable. Inflatable, I mean collapsible 
coffin. I got inflatable on the brain right now. All right, let's see. We got a stuffed dummy prop. We got the empty soul girl on a swing. The sinister spirit doll. We have, ooh, we got two grave watchers here. I still have not bought her. I need to get her. We got the creepy crimson girl on a swing, and they always have tons of empty soul girls on swings. Let's see. We got the 55-inch floor candelabra there. There's a smaller candelabra right over there. Foam coffin. Ooh, groundbreaking pumpkin. I don't think I've seen this one yet. That's not very heavy. That must be foam, I would guess. Or maybe it's plastic. I don't know. I would think it would be plastic. I don't think foam would last very long outside. We got the fogging skull pile down here on the bottom. I just did a cameo for somebody the other day who loves the fogging skull pile. We got some hook head hogs. We have several hook eye guys. There's four of them. And then here's one that I have not seen in person yet myself. This is actually foam and latex. Wow. I don't know if it's latex, but it's definitely foam. Pumpkin guy with a rope tied around him. That is actually pretty cool. Wait a minute, look at this headstone over here. I've never seen these before. Return to sender, 1850 to 1930. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. And if you guys don't understand that, back in the day, whenever they would bury somebody, they used to not embalm them. So they would bury them, and they would bury a string all the way down to the coffin that went into the coffin, and they would put a bell on the top of the uh, the headstone. So that if the person actually woke up in there, they could pull the string and ring the bell and let everybody know that they were still alive. <laughs> And then we got this one over here. Here lives, here lies, never to return. And look at this face that's peeking out. I'm going to guess when we push the button that the eye lights up. Oh. That was pretty cool. I love the spooky sounds and the wind blowing and everything. I think I've seen all the rest of these headstones, except for I do love this one right here. Emily Binks from Hocus Pocus. Here lies the body of Emily Binks, beloved daughter and sister, died 31 of October, 1693. Sweet Emily, taken from us most unnaturally, rest and wait for us in a world beyond. All right, let's move on out this way, guys. We're just gonna keep our eyes peeled and see if there's anything that jumps out that we haven't seen yet. We'll dig into costumes in a later video, um, unless something totally awesome just jumps out like these Shrek feet. What the heck? Okay, that is awesome. And look, they have bigger ones. They have smaller ones here. Do they have my size? These are small. These are extra large, but I don't know if my feet would fit in those or not. Those are absolutely... I didn't even have a word for it. <laughs> One of the most awesome things I've ever seen. We got Shrek costumes here. I could be Shrek because I'm a bigger guy. Look at this. We have a Shrek beanie here. Oh, wait. I was going to say I wish the ears were out here but the ears actually come with the costume. That is cool. Do you guys remember back when the movies were out, you could get the ears at like Burger King or something? We got the Fiona costume here. I believe this one also. Does it come with ears? Um, it says it does come with ears. It also comes with a tiara, but they do have a separate tiara over here and a necklace. I love coming across stuff like this in the stores that I haven't seen before. Is this new for this year? Because I don't recall seeing those Shrek feet before. All right, let's keep on moving here. As I was saying, I want to just look for stuff that just kind of pops out. We'll get deeper into the costumes later on. Oh, look at this, though. An inflatable Cookie Monster costume. I don't know if I've seen that before. That is totally 
totally cool and I love how he has bits of cookie in his mouth. All right, let's keep on going over this way because we still have half the store over here that we haven't seen yet. And I hope there's some awesome surprises over here. But speaking of surprises, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. All right, let's keep on going back this way. We got some spirit shirts here. Wait, we got some spirit hoodies on the other side. Okay, well, it's made for spirit, but it's a skeleton. That's pretty cool anyway. Look, they got a backbone. I wish there was a spirit logo on there, though. All right, let's keep on going here. We got the bling ghost face mask here. Oh, in fact, I think that's... That's the whole costume. All right, anything else back here that's gonna just jump right out at us that's gonna be totally awesome? I mean, everything in here is totally awesome, but ooh, look at this right here. I believe this is a Five Nights at Freddy's. Look, it's a backpack. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's backpack. That is pretty cool, and it's huge, too. It looks like just his head opens up. You gotta put stuff in his head. Whoa, wait a minute, just hold on. Look right beside him there's another one it's foxy and this one is a backpack too and just like the other one just the head unzips unless you can put stuff like down in his body i don't know but it looks like just the head unzips you can put some small stuff in there those are definitely awesome let's leave a couple of stickers in the skeleton buckets here's one for the unicorn couple for spider-man here all right guys that is it for mansfield ohio spirit halloween very cool there's the sign up there i did get very lucky today i scored a couple of the bedazzled ghost face tumblers how cool is that i am so excited guys